It's the story that's gathered worldwide attention. Did aliens land in the backyard of this Las Vegas home? Recently, we told you about that spooky situation in Las Vegas when a flash in the sky was captured on video. The reports echoed those campy 50s sci-fi movies about alien invaders. This could be the beginning of the end. It started when a mysterious fireball lit up the Las Vegas night sky, which was caught on a cop's body cam. Only Inside Edition is with the family who called 911 that night. 16-year-old Angel Canmore says he saw two creatures in his backyard and was paralyzed with fear. His father and brother say they also saw the creatures. You believe you saw something that wasn't from this planet? I believe I saw something, yeah, that wasn't like from Earth. Was this really an extraterrestrial sighting? The family says three days after the encounter, a government vehicle showed up outside the house with three men in black to investigate. I knew it. This is an alien, and you guys are from some government agency trying to keep it under wraps. We see three guys who are driving a black Suburban with U.S. government plates in it. They was passing around. They, you know, when we opened the garage, we went through them. They just run away. Do you think that they were here to investigate what happened? Probably, probably yes. is. When Las Vegas cops released the body cam footage, the worldwide spotlight was thrust on the Kenmore family overnight. Total strangers flocked to their home, wanting to see for themselves the location of one of the most intriguing UFO sightings in decades. We're in your backyard now. Since all of this went public, have people been climbing over your fences? Yeah. Science writer and UFO skeptic Mick West has another explanation for what the Kenmores could have seen that night. The raccoon, which has very big black eyes, uh, could be on top of the fence, and someone could mistake that in the darkness as, as an alien being with giant eyes, or something like a coyote jumping over the fence. Do you think that that creature was an animal or a raccoon? No, that was too big for be a raccoon. Attorney Sam Ryan Haydari represents the family. They didn't want that publicity. They, the only thing they did, it was reporting it to the police. You've talked to the dad and the mom and the yeah. two sons. Do you believe these people? I believe that they believe that it was real. 